Ladies and gentlemen, Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. We have this one in front of us today. Yes, that is correct. That is the BenQ Screen Bar Plus e-reading lamp. This has some amazing features. I'm excited to fire this up, test it out. As we all know, it's getting dark earlier if you're watching this currently while it is winter. And so after the lights go down in the office, after the lights go down in your dormitory, wherever you are, if you need a little extra reading light, and it is USB powered. And it does not have a stand, so it takes up less room. Just connects on the back of your computer monitor. Of course, I will give you full examples after it gets dark here. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here, folks. Excellent. All right, tops off here. Let's go ahead and open her on up here. We've got a couple little direction cards here, but it's kind of self-explanatory. Here, we have a nice, very sturdy BenQ clamp. Now, that would be on the back of your monitor. As we can see there, it adjusts. So this goes on the back of your monitor, and then obviously it clips in right here and is able to shine down. So this would be it fully extended. So you will need a little bit of room behind your monitor. Now, most folks in a dormitory or an office setting have plenty of room, but if it's on a wall mounted, then you will need at least this much room behind the monitor. I will show you examples upstairs as well. And then here we have a nice USB powered dimmable switch here. We have one cable right here that is micro USB and we have USB right here. So this connects onto your desktop and you would be able to turn a dial, your buttons right here. We'll go ahead and play around with that. Very nice looking as well. We have nice soft pad right here to protect your desk. And it goes a little bit elevated if you can see that. So it's tilted down. That's really, really cool. Let me give you a guesstimation on the cord length just in case you're curious about that because I know people in the cable management world are. Alrighty, from this point right here to the end of the USB is a round estimation four feet and the micro USB is just about six inches shorter or so. But again, that is guesstimation. It could be longer than that. It could be four and a half to five feet. I'm giving you a guesstimation. It's gonna be our screen bar here. Very nice. Lots of LEDs in there, looking fantastic. And that's gonna do it for the box here, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at this guy right here. As we can see, a ton of LEDs in there, all the way down, and then going all the way down to the end, our LED lights there. On top here we have, that is where our micro USB connects to. Again, that is on the back center of the screen bar, right there. All right, this is what it looks like here, clipped in on the back, straight into the micro USB port, and there is plastic on this here. You can keep that on if you wanna keep it protected or go ahead and pull that off if you desire. Well guys, this is a great light. Again, right on top of my Dell 30 inch monitor, coming down very nicely. Okay, I actually have it plugged into a power strip adapter in the back of my stand up desk here that has a USB port on the power strip, or you could plug it directly into your computer tower laptop, whatever you have for this. Okay, let me go ahead and cut the lights here for just a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple features of the turn dial. As we can see here, shining very nicely here on my keyboard, and again, you might be able to even have a more of an angle more towards the keyboard, but let me go ahead and show you a few different things. We have our turn dial here where I turn it to the right, and very subtly, you'll see it start to lighten up even more. And we'll go brighter and brighter and brighter, until I believe that's the brightest right there. I don't see any slightly difference at all. Right there, so that is the brightest setting here. As you can see, shining down on my monitor and my desk here, but not shining into my monitor, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and lower that down, and we can go all the way to the lowest setting right there. As we can see, the desk gets a lot dimmer there. Okay, let me go ahead and Fire that back up, and again, just fire to the right for a quick twirl. Let's go ahead and hit the button on the left. And that is the auto dimmer button, the one on the left of the turn dial. Now we do have a hue adjustment color here. The button on the right, if we push that, now we have it more cool. So the button on the right again is the hue adjustment here. It now is a warm light, and if we click it up, we'll actually go into a kind of a higher blue. We come down with our turn dial, 
and it gets into a nice warm color as we can see there, kind of that amber warmness. Let's go ahead and continue to click it down to the left. And I believe that's as far as we go there. So again, a nice warm color on your keyboard or we spin it to the right and it goes up to a more of a blue light there. That is the hue adjustment setting there. We go ahead and click back on that one and it comes over to the brightness adjuster indicator and then it goes up even higher if you want it to go more brighter there. Or again, just hit the brightness adjuster indicator and the sensor will go ahead and take to your room and how dark it is, if the blinds are shut, overhead lights are on, etc. And again, what's really nice is that you can just literally push on off or again, swivel as it gets brighter. You can see my hand getting brighter and I have it on the auto adjust hue as it starts to dim back down, light and blue. Let's go ahead and click back over to this one, click off of that one and it gets brighter. And as you turn it, the auto will turn off and then we turn it down there. Absolutely fantastic. Here is our light sensor right up there for the auto adjusting settings there. All right, let me go ahead and show you my setup here now. Again, a lot of you guys won't have this issue and I'm not having an issue at all because actually it is mounted in this particular direction with the micro USB in the back of it here. And I swiveled it just a little bit so the cable is laying flat. And as we can see here, the lip of it is against the front edge of my screen. So you could have yours like that, or it might be a little bit different. Now I do have some clearance and I still have a little bit of clearance here in the back of the mount. So that's really nice as well. And here's a look of it from this angle here. And we'll get a little bit more close here now as we can see the cord again just moves right into the back there. It braces up right against the monitor. Now again, my monitor is mounted on a wall, but just expect something similar to this or a little bit different if you have a monitor with obviously a stand with plenty of room in the back, but it works great for this. If you were worried about that, it's exactly how your setup would be if you have a wall mount. And what's cool is that you can get a little bit more stealth. Obviously we have a couple cords heading around right here, but you cord management guys can get super stealth. Put another plant over here. I can move the plant over here on this side, have the wires kind of come out a little bit more. Put a little tape on the back of your monitor so you just have one rolling down there. And with your auto adjustment dial here, it's really simple and really nice to use. Overall guys, I'm very happy with the light. And again, look in the description box below this video for this exact link for this BenQ screen bar computer light. Smash that thumbs up button if it has helped you make an informed decision and subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more things we're reviewing, a lot more DIY projects, computer hacks, life hacks. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next one. My name's Chris. Take care, bye-bye.